video, we're going to introduce, define, and discuss the Prandtl number. Here, we're looking at the flow impinging upon a flat plate, and we see that we have the development of a momentum boundary there, where the velocity is transitioning from zero at the surface out to the free stream, free stream value u infinity, and that momentum boundary there grows with position along our plate, and is characterized by the dimension delta, the local delta of x, the thick local thickness of the momentum boundary there. Correspondingly, we have a thermal boundary there where the temperature is transitioning from the surface temperature Ts out to the ambient temperature T infinity. And that is governed, is described by our length scale delta T, the thickness of the thermal boundary there. Now, of course, if we think about the shear stress at the wall, we see that it's given by mu du dy, the velocity gradient at the wall. And the heat flux, because the velocity is zero and it's purely conduction right at the solid surface, the heat flux at any location is given by Fourier's law minus conductivity times the temperature gradient at the wall. So if we think about the ratio of these two things, one related to this velocity gradient and this process where we're having our momentum boundary there and this transition from zero to u infinity, and the other related to the temperature gradient at the wall, which is related to the process of this temperature varying from T surface out to T infinity. If you think about the ratio of these two things, and we want to have a non-dimensional number, we can write that the kinematic viscosity, which is none other than mu over rho, divided by the thermal diffusivity, both of these things have units of meter squared per second, will give us a non-dimensional number, and it's going to be related to these gradients, or these momentum and thermal boundary layers. So of course the Kinematic viscosity nu is simply mu over rho, the dynamic viscosity over the density, and the thermal diffusivity is the conductivity of the fluid over the density of the fluid and the heat capacity of the fluid. So there's our, this ratio gives us the Prandtl number. And the Prandtl number represents the ratio of the diffusive transport of momentum relative to the transport of thermal energy. So we can think of this transport of momentum where we have a high value of momentum down here, and we're having a low value of momentum down here, and this gradients and this transition is related to the viscosity of the fluid, and likewise, similarly, this transition is governed by the conductivity or the thermal diffusivity. So if we think about that, this Prandtl number is going to relate the relative sizes of the momentum boundary there, delta, to the size of the thermal boundary there, delta t. Since we know from our Reynolds number video that the Reynolds number indicates the size of the momentum boundary there, indicates the size of the momentum boundary there, we will find that in order to characterize this thermal boundary there, or ultimately to characterize this gradient at the wall and the heat transfer, it's going to be related to some function of the Reynolds number and the Prandtl number. The Reynolds number telling us something about this size, and the Prandtl number telling us something about how this size relates to this size ultimately how this gradient relates to this gradient. So we'll expect when we're looking for our Nusselt number correlations that those Nusselt numbers will be functions of the Reynolds number and the Prandtl number.